welcome to yet another interesting video based on data mining so in today's video we'll be seeing what are the data integration as a process in data mining and we'll address some of the issues and the methods to uh, error detection as well as integration kind of uh, challenges which are there in data integration so let's get started so first of all we have four different kinds of issues so uh, we categorize the very first issue as the schema integration and we have the object matching issue so these two are identified with a problem in kind of while you integrate with other databases or other schemas from other data mining sites you have this problem that is the entity identification problem that is EIP now what this problem is actually uh, let's understand so for example let's consider that you have uh, two different tables or two different tuples in that in one tuple you have the attribute or the column as cust id in uh, one db or in one database and you have another db which is having customer number so in uh, real world it's like customer id and customer number are one and the same but how these two are matching or what does the uh, what does it corresponds or why like it's matched to one particular uh, attribute so that kind of many irregularities or uh, inconsistency kind of transparency issues are there in kind of while you do the data integration with other kinds of heterogeneous systems so uh, like you have uh, the schema integration and object matching issue likewise you have the issue of data redundancy uh, while you integrate from different different sources so data redundancy issues uh, address the kind of duplicate data or the uh, like kind of uh, data which is uh, no particular value or which carries a null value especially so those kinds of data are categorized as duplicate data in data mining and so there is one kind of uh, detection is there so detect to detect the kind of redundancy you have the correlation analysis uh, which we have studied in our previous all videos so you can do the correlation analysis to identify uh, what data is not matching where and how it's and all so like for doing that you have a mathematical measure suppose you have two different attributes like a and b consider as two different columns for one different tuple then the correlation coefficient you can estimate uh, and it can be computed by using the Pearson's product moment coefficient so this is from the scientist Carl Pearson you get this formula in mathematics also is used so it's uh, given as RAB that is R is for the coefficient and AB is the uh, variable or the two attributes and it's given by the formula summation I which runs from 1 to N AI minus A bar multiplied by BI minus B bar divided by N that is the number of items and standard deviation of A and standard deviation of B this formula can also be written in this way that is summation I runs from 1 to N AI BI that is the uh, cross product of AI BI variables minus the number of items and uh, a bar b bar a bar b bar are the means of a and b divided by n standard deviation of a standard deviation of b so uh, these are the terms which are involved in this equation now the value of rab that is pearson product moment coefficient lies between minus 1 to plus 1 so it's like minus 1 less than equal to rab less than equal to plus 1 and so you have three different set of values for this so if like the value of r e b is greater than zero then you can say that a b attributes are positively correlated means there is some kind of issues are there like they are uh, not uh, very much close closer objects are there like uh, if a b is r e b is zero then you can say that there is no correlation between the attributes a and b and if r a b is less than zero then a and b are negatively correlated so these are the inference which you can get while you solve this equation and uh, when you get those values uh, then after this uh, correlation analysis is done uh, your correlation does not imply any kind of causality causality like in the sense like if a and b are correlated in some of the case if you get this like uh, if in first case if rb is greater than 0 or if rb is less than 0 uh, in that case if a and b are found to be correlated then uh, the causality says that this does not imply that a causes b or b causes a it's not in that way uh, so uh, it's not a recommendation system so it's uh, completely different so causality is one to one matching not bi-directional relationship is there between that and so uh, for categorical data if you have categorical data in different different attributes from different data mining sites uh, you have correlation between them in order to estimate between two variables like in that also you have two variables a and b then this does not go in this way uh, 
uh, you can probably do a chi square test uh, from pearson that is carl pearson's chi square test is also there so it's like a, you make a contingency table for that contingency matrix uh, which product or which item has the most frequent values and all so that we'll discuss when we solve a problem on this and we calculate a pearson's chi square statistic for this so it's given by chi square is equal to summation i runs from 1 to c and summation j runs from 1 to r o i j minus e i j the whole square divided by e i j so o i j is observed frequency and e i j is the expected frequency we will get a more clarification on this while we solve a problem on this so uh, so these are the uh, kind of issues discussed so far now we have issues of detection and resolution of data value conflicts uh, like for example consider a scenario where we have a kind of uh, tuple is there and uh, we have to uh, apply the discount now that discount is uh, particularly meant for the supply at the end of the uh, like purchased items now in another tuple it's like discount on each of the items and so if you try to integrate it with and uh, if you some kind of matching goes wrong then that kind of uh, data integrated value may be wrong so uh, that you have to take very much care and so uh, while doing the data integration two things has to be kept uh, in mind like the structure the structure of the data has to be preserved as it is and then you have to keep the semantic heterogeneity semantics means in uh, pure English it's like the meaning so the meaning of that particular data from different different sources has to be same it should not be different and it should not vary across uh, when you go with different measurements uh, like you have imperial units you have British units SI units CGI units so in that it should not verify it should be kept as a standard medium throughout the like uh, if you uh, do some kind of uh, currency or trading so from different countries you have to lay a particular standard for that so uh, these two things that is structure and semantic heterogeneity must be paid attention the most to while matching attributes from one database to another database during data integration so uh, that's all about the data integration issues we have addressed in this video so far and the uh, different kinds of mathematical formulas so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found this video interesting please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video